Just ahead of Memorial Day and new this morning, the Cahaba River Keeper tests the water quality for dangerous bacteria each week and recently found some spots with high levels of E. coli. CBS 42 News reporter Ariana Garza is joining us now in studio to explain how you can stay up to date on the water quality in your area and exactly what's being done about it. Ariana. Well, Lee, the Cahaba River Keeper tests the water quality along the river every single week and then posts those results for you online every Friday. So every Thursday, that is when the Cahaba River Keeper and a team of about nine interns test that water quality at 18 recreational spots along the river. That's from Leeds down onto Bibb County. Now they're mainly testing the E. coli levels in the water to determine whether or not it's safe to swim. Now there are several factors that can lead to high E. coli levels. For example, if there's a a lot of rain, animal waste can wash into the river, and heavy rains can also weaken septic systems or industrial discharge systems. Now, last week they did find high levels of E. coli at one spot. Shades Creek is, um, we, we tested Elder Street. That's been bad really for a couple years, and we've been kind of eliminating one problem after the other and just working our way back. And, you know, we're, we're looking forward to a day when that'll be clean. Um, and then basically everywhere south of 280s had its problems. And swimming in areas with high levels of E. coli, that can make you very sick, especially if you have a weak immune system or any open wounds. Now, the Riverkeeper tells me a lot of this testing would be difficult to do without that team of interns helping out and without grants for their funding. Now, the results of yesterday's testing, they're expected to be posted to the Cahaba Riverkeeper's website by noon today. So we'll have a direct link for you on our website right now at CBS42.com.